Hi, my name is Kevin Silmore. I'm a grad student in chemical engineering and computation at MIT. And today I plan to tell you very briefly about a tool we made to perform feasible nonlinear optimization called LFP SQP. Unlike typical infeasible nonlinear programming solvers, feasible optimization can be desirable for a few reasons. One, the objective function can directly be used as a merit function to ensure descent. Two, early termination yields a feasible result, which is especially important and useful for applications like model predictive control. And three, certain objective functions may only be defined on the feasible set, which renders infeasible software prone to difficulties. Obviously, there are lots of nonlinear optimization and manifold optimization packages that exist, especially in the Julia ecosystem. And I consider LFP SQP to hopefully be a useful addition to some of these tools. Specifically, LFP SQP is designed to solve the problems shown here. And what differentiates it from current techniques and packages is its ability to handle arbitrary constraint manifolds, as opposed to manifolds with special a priori known structure, its ability to handle inequality constraints and box constraints easily, and its native support of automatic differentiation and specifically mixed mode automatic differentiation for Hessian vector products using the rich ecosystem of AD tools that Julia features, in particular, the classic forward and reverse diff packages. LFP SQP is like other manifold optimization packages where at each step, a search direction is generated tangent to the constraint manifold, a line search is conducted along a retracted path, and then this is repeated until some termination criterion is satisfied. Now I have to skip many of the interesting technical details for time, but LFP SQP is special because it features inexact Newton steps, avoiding explicit Hessians with little effort on part of the user, and it uses efficient retraction subroutines for arbitrary implicit constraints. To show you some examples of LFP SQP in action, here's a classic problem of finding the unit norm eigenvector associated with the minimum eigenvalue of a matrix. For this sparse 2000 by 2000 matrix here, LFP SQP converges in 13 iterations and requires a total of about 200 matrix vector multiplies among all subroutines. One can also consider an interesting variant of the Rayleigh quotient problem where the vector is constrained to be non-negative. We see it takes 56 iterations and about 1400 matrix vector multiplies in total to converge. LFP SQP can also handle some pathological problems with degenerate constraints like this one here. For this kind of infinity symbol shaped feasible region with a degenerate pinch in the middle, you can see all of the iterates remain feasible as they approach the optimum at the right. And finally, one can perform large scale nonlinear optimization for constrained physical problems, which is what inspired this work. Here I'm showing you an animation of a problem involving the optimization of an unstructured triangulated mesh subject to a small number of constraints. With that, I'll leave this conclusion slide up and I'm happy to receive questions and feedback by email. And a link to the GitHub repository with the current working version of the package is below. Thanks.